Uh, here is the given simply supported beam for which we have to find out the reflection and slope. So let's see what the question is. Uh, we have to find out theta a, theta b, and theta c, and also the deflection delta c. Okay, so here theta a, what's the deflection? what's the sorry slope at theta a theta b and theta c what we have to find out and also the deflection at c we have to find out so this is our simply supported beam so here the force is uh, r a and here force is reaction is r b so first of all we need to find out r a and r b value so then r a is equal to 60 here the load is 60 and distance this is 4 meter and even distance this distance is 4 meter okay so this distance is 4 meter 4 meter so here we have to find out ra so the opposite distance is 4 into load is how much 60 so it's a simple we have done the total distance is 8 so this is your 30 is R A. R A is 30. 30. So similarly <coughs> R B R B in the same manner. So R B is 4 is so we have to take the opposite distance 4 meter. 4 into load is 60 divided by total distance. <laughs> Eight. So here again it is thirty. Thirty newton. Thirty kilonewton. Thirty kilonewton. We are getting the answer. The first step has been completed. So R and R B value is over. So next step is we have to find out the real beams bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram of the real beam. How it is coming is this is my real beam, this is A, this is C, and this is B. So, okay, so, so first of all, C per will take out the moment at C and will hide out this one portion. So, how much moment is it? 30 into 4, 30 into 4, 120. So, 120 is the moment, 120 is the moment. So, from straight line, linear straight. And from here again, it's a straight. <laughs> so this is a real beams BMD bending moment diagram of the real beam. Okay. So now, what we have to do? We have to do conjugate beam, imaginary beam. Conjugate beam is an imaginary beam of same span. So we'll do the same conjugate beam. Okay. We'll project this. So this is our conjugate beam so this diagram whatever is the it's a conjugate beam it will happen m by ei diagram diagram uh, so from here we can see the from a to c from A to C span, whatever 4 meter it is there, moment of inertia is only I. So from A to C, and this one, C, so n nothing is there in this, so no variation because it's only one times of I, so it will, came, it will remain same. So what will be the value M by I? So 120 divided by EI because it's only single line. <laughs> so from here, second part you can see from C to B, uh, moment of inertia is 2A. There is a 2I. So therefore, what we will do is, whatever this 120 is there, it will be divided by 120. 
it will become 60 by ei because we have divided it by 2 so then we'll join it like this so so this is our conjugate beam m by a diagram here the support will be same it will be ra ra dash 1 ra dash this is rb dash So we'll make it more simpler. Okay. So it runs like this. This is A, C, and B. So whatever conjugate beam is there, this will make it in the simplest way. We'll convert it in the simplest way. Please concentrate. This is a straight part load what's the load so the load will be centered here the load will be how much 1 by 2 and this is figure 2 so once area half into <coughs> 4 meter and this is 4 meter mm, 120 by EI. So this cancel 240 by EI. Okay. So what we'll do is 240 by EI. So we have to show it exactly at the centroid. So the value distance of the centroid is it's two third of into length four. 2.666 this will be 1.34 so this triangle has been converted into a single point load so we have to convert this in a point load so it becomes 240 by EI on this point okay and next we'll move on to the smallest triangle so smallest triangle load is half span is 4 divided by 60 into 60 EI yeah. so it becomes 120 120 by EI EI so here exactly at this centroid it becomes 120 by EI by EI and the distance becomes Two third of sorry, two point three four, and this becomes one point three four. Okay, this is the simplest form.